Hey guys, it's David Nguyen again. Uh, somehow I was having a breakdown with some uh, technology uh, challenges as I was recording that last uh, video. Um, I left off with um, with the business that was involved in with uh, helping local schools. It was profitable for about uh, two years um, and something happened in the business. Uh, one of the partners actually, um, we had a total of uh, three partners and uh, we had a breakdown in the business where it was just kind of a conflict of value where we didn't really feel connected with each other anymore. So one of the partners uh, left the business and also around the same time, well either and I don't know I guess sometimes uh, when things happen like that like when it says uh, if it rains it pours or you know just basically when bad things happen it just happens uh, a lot and um, what happened was during that same time I uh, got uh, involved in two car accidents uh, within the same week actually uh, I remember uh, Star Wars uh, late late at night and I was driving from Orange County back to San Diego where I lived at the time and I I guess I ran over a tire and my car went like uh, like 15 foot in the air and it landed and go boom and fortunately I didn't get injured and I got out of my car and I looked at my car, everything looked perfect, everything looked fine. Uh, there was actually no scratch, no dent. And I looked ahead of me and there was a gentleman um, who seemed like something was uh, wrong with his car as well too. And I, I, I went up there and I spoke to him. I said, hey, you know, it's, is everything okay? He's like, yeah, did you just run over a tire too? I'm like, oh yeah, I just ran over a tire and my car seems fine. And I looked at his car and I looked at my car his car basically he had a flat tire on the right side um, basically his car looked like it was damaged um, more than mine so I'm like oh I'm so fortunate are you are you gonna be okay and he said he was well uh, I thought I was fortunate the fortunate thing was I was um, I was okay nothing happened physically um, when I was driving my car it just made some weird noise and I just really didn't pay attention I was tired I just wanted to go home and the next morning I decided to um, take the car to the dealership to, to just check it out. And when I took the car to the dealership, um, they inspected the car and they said that everything is fine except your undercarriage, everything underneath your car, like your muffler and things like that. Uh, they're pretty much totally gone. That's why you hear that weird noise and your car is very weak. So uh, it came out, an estimate came out to about uh, close to $8,000. And I was like, wow, I don't know how I can pay for that. Luckily, I had insurance. And that same week, uh, when I got back to Orange County, I was going on a, um, a little business trip with my partner. And he was driving, and then boom, we got into a car accident, a T-bone car accident. And luckily, it was the other person's fault. Um, and what I learned from that is I was literally focusing on all the bad things in my life, got in a car accident, I was very bitter and you know the next thing you knew you keep on thinking about car accidents, you get into a car accident and two car accidents within one week and I was really down at that point in my life and what happened was when I was at the dealership, when I was at the dealership, I uh, saw a newspaper ad in the, in the newspaper and uh, in the newspaper ad it says, uh, said real estate investor teaching enlightened wealth something uh, like that it was the headline I'm like, huh, this is interesting so I read through it and uh, what it was was uh, there was an author by the name of Robert G Allen and Mark Victor Hansen and they were gonna be in San Diego promoting their uh, their book and at that time they were promoting cracking the millionaire code was the name of the book and I'm like okay okay and in the uh, newspaper happened to have free tickets and you know take this and uh, it's free admission so I'm like okay um, business isn't going well got into two car accidents I'm here you know waiting to pick up my car um, you know let's let's give it a shot and I went to the seminar I went uh, to meet Bob and I went to meet Mark 
And one thing when I was sitting in a seminar that really sold me um, was uh, Bob or Robert Allen uh, was saying, in life there's only two doors. One marks security and one marks freedom. If you choose a door that marks security, you lose both. So when I heard that line, similar to when Jim Rohn said profits are better than wages, I said that really makes sense. And I've always been an entrepreneur. I've been an entrepreneur at heart. And I said, hey, you know what? I'm, I'm not choosing a door at Mark security. I'm choosing to mark freedom. And what better way than to learn with people that have already traveled that path. And, and that's really what started um, to ignite um, this personal development growth within me. And from then, I bought Bob's package. At the time, it was uh, you know, $5,000. I became, you know, quote unquote, protege, uh, part of the Enlightened Wealth Institute. And <laughs> From then, I, I mean, I went through lots of seminars, lots of training, and I've also bought lots of packages, and I, I've trained with lots of different people, and um, I, I was going through this process, and I still had the physical too, and what I saw was I was growing at a rate, um, I guess I could say, that made me different than my business partners, and they're not really exposed to this really... Um, uh, uplifting I mean yeah we do we do uplift each other it's just not so much like in the seminar world or the personal development world where everybody's just like you know your brothers and sisters and people just you know, they just bring you up you feel good and you uh, you know you, you work with these people and that's the environment I was uh, exposed to for you know a good six seven months and I I traveled to lots of seminars different um, cities and states and you're probably wondering wow and at that time, I was about 21, 22. Uh, well, actually, I was uh, 21 at the time because now I'm 22. Um, and you might be wondering, how did I get all that money? Because I can tell you, uh, these seminars aren't, uh, aren't, aren't cheap. It was quite an investment. I mean, I paid $5,000 for the Protégé package with Bob Allen. I, uh, one seminar, I, I paid close to $10,000 just to attend one seminar. And again, you might be like, wow, a kid at 21 having that kind of money? Uh, I can tell you, at that time, I didn't have that money. In fact, I leveraged all of that money on a, uh, on a couple of credit cards, actually. Uh, through going through you know, uh, persuasions and influence, boot camps and seminars, I've learned certain techniques to talk to uh, credit card companies. And uh, I've actually was able to negotiate with these companies to uh, raise my credit limit from you know, 5000 to like $50,000 per credit card. So, and on top of that, this was all at 0% APR. So I didn't pay a single dime in interest. Everything sounded good, sounded great. Um, what I didn't realize at the time, because I was so uh, immersed in, uh, in this, I'm like, wow, this is awesome. I'm going to be a millionaire very shortly. And what happened was I didn't realize that the time frame that I had uh, for the 0% window of interest was only uh, six months. And um, I leveraged, you know, like I said, you know, about $100,000 in all these training courses, traveling to different cities, and, and just really having a good time, enjoying my time. And remember, I still had the business, which I kind of didn't really even look after because I wasn't really passionate about that anymore after I heard about different uh, streams of making income. And I do take the responsibility looking back that... Um, Partly why the business failed um, was because uh, because of, of, of my lack of uh, interest in the particular business. My business partners, in a way, went separate ways. We still communicated. We we talked to each other. Uh, there was definitely a breakdown in communication with all of us. And I'm actually going to share that with you in the next session because my camera is actually running a little bit low on battery. So until then, if you want to find out more about my story, you can go to my MySpace page at myspace.com forward slash KDS friend, or you can see it uh, right there at the bottom. So just go to my MySpace page, and this is still day one, okay, today's April 27th of uh, my 90 day challenge. Just wanted to tell you, um, 
just a little bit of background so you understand where I'm coming from and why I'm taking on this challenge and I you know I want to inspire you so whatever you want to do you will take action as well too. So until next time I will speak to you shortly. This is David Wynn signing out.